Today, I, we are going to talk about Elasticsearch and in particular how to use Elasticsearch to dump alerts. This is because NTOPNG comes with an embedded alerting system based on SQLite that it is good for sites with limited number of alerts. This is because SQLite is not designed for large numbers, for high cardinality. And therefore we have restricted the number of alerts handled by the system to 16,000. With the, the latest NTOPNG 4.1, we now have the ability of extending this support to external uh, uh, consumers. And this is implemented, as you probably seen with uh, one of the previous video, with the concept of endpoint and recipients. In order to configure them, you have to go into the system interface that you can choose here at the top menu and go into the not notification submenu. The first item you have to configure is an endpoint. As you probably know, endpoints are configurations of systems that are supposed to receive events from on top. An, an example is, for instance, an email server. Discord or today Elastic. The split between endpoint and recipient is designed for making easy the integration and the configuration of NTOPNG. This is because you can configure one system and you can have different recipients using it. Let's now configure Elastic. We do a plus, we check here Elasticsearch. You have to use the Enterprise Edition of NTOP for that. You have to specify a name. Let's put Elastic. Here you have to specify the URL where you are accessing Elastic. Here we have specified the, the default one, so that is localhost port 9200. That is the default if you install uh, Elastic locally. And then you click to add. Now you have created the endpoint. Okay? and we call it Elastic. Now we have to call, create a recipient, so a user of this endpoint. So we do plus, we put a recipient name, we call it for this Elastic Alert, so the endpoint is Elastic, the one we just created. We have to specify what to send, okay, we leave everything, and we specify also the category, if we want to send certain alerts just for, for security or for anything. Before saving it, we do a test, quick test, that is successful, and we do add. Now we have created a recipient. Now we have to tell NTOPNG to what events have to be bound to this recipient. We remember you that you can create uh, other recipients. Eh? So this is uh, this is very this is very important. You can send the same alert to, to multiple places. So for instance, to two Elastic searches, you can send the, the same alert to Discord, email, Elastic, or Elastic only the the uh, important ones email uh, only something related to whatever security things like this like i've said we have to specify when use elastic for delivering the alert so you have to click here on this button clicking on this button shows you what pools of uh, endpoints or what pools of uh, entities are bound to this event so in essence uh, who is using this recycling in this case nobody is using it because we have just created it now you have to create create and specify when to send events to it. So for instance, if I want to say, in this case it's host, I want to send events only for for host, so I'll go enable Elasticsearch, okay? I want to send flows, I click on it and enable Elasticsearch. If I want to send alerts for SNMP devices, go and enable Elasticsearch, if you want to do for active monitoring, click and enable Elasticsearch. Okay. Now let's go back to recycling. Now, if I want to see when Elasticsearch is used and for what purpose, now I click here and I see that it is used by this uh, this type of uh, recipient. Okay. And pools. Now let's see if we can generate uh, an alert. So, in essence, uh, what, what is happening is the following. When NetOpenG generates an alert, 
in essence, uh, this alert is sent uh, to Elastic. At least this is the, the idea. And uh, Elastic is, uh, is also used for, um, for dumping uh, information uh, in, in a way so that people can merge this information with existing data. So, for instance, uh, suppose that somebody uh, is, um, is using Elastic for, for, as a CM or for, for delivering alerts from, from multiple uh, systems. This is, this is a typical usage of, the, of Elastic. So Elastic is, uh, is a very powerful index that uh, is, uh, is very much used in enterprises because it is very flexible, it allows uh, many uh, sources of data to be integrated into the same place. As you can see here, we have uh, the built-in uh, SQLite uh, uh, recipient. This one is used by the internal alerts of uh, NTOPNG. So when you go here inside alerts, Okay, you will see those alerts uh, dumped in, in NTOPNG. Okay, so this is used for, for low capacity. It is good if you want to see alerts into uh, NTOPNG, but uh, as a high end storage, uh, you probably better use things like Elastic. Before going further, I want to show you something. So inside NTOPNG, you also have the ability with dash F. To specify where to send flows information to and one of the options here is elastic so dash f is used for flows f stands for flows that is a little bit different from what i've shown you today that is about uh, events notifications okay so don't mix these two concepts dash f is used for dumping flows into let's say elastic and index that is the internal storage of ntopng or let's say mysql uh, these, these, are the, these are the possible options. Here we are talking about alerts, okay, and the recipients apply only to alerts, not to flows. Now, let's have a look at uh, the status of our notification in our recipients, okay. Nothing is happening. Let's add an extra, uh, an extra check, okay. So we have enabled for, for active monitoring. So what we can do is, for instance, uh, go here so go here in the in the system and add a uh, check for active monitoring okay so this is uh, an existing check we can change the threshold to one millisecond so that we can see if we can trigger further alerts alerts for active monitoring will be shown into this uh, this separate uh, pane okay these are all the alerts that uh, cannot be stored into Elastic simply because they were created before uh, our video started. Okay, uh, let's now have a look at uh, at uh, uh, Elastic. So in the meantime, you can uh, wait for alerts. Uh, Elastic, uh, uh, this is Kibana, so it's the web interface because Elastic is the back end. This is Kibana that is the front end. The first thing you have to do before using it, you have to create uh, here an index. Okay, an index pattern here, and uh, uh, like like we have uh, we have said during the configuration, uh, indexes are created uh, when you specify uh, the uh, recipient endpoint. You have to specify a name. If you don't specify any name, it will be called alerts dash and topng dash a date. Okay, so the, the alerts for today will go will go here. You have to specify what is the timestamp field. So this is a timestamp. This is something that we handle automatically inside uh, NTOPNG. So in essence, NTOPNG is configuring um, Elastic on your behalf. You just have to configure here inside Kibana the, the index pattern. And then when you, when you do that, uh, you are able to visualize your data. So you click on the top menu, you go to, for instance, to, to visualize. Okay, you can have your visualization. So we have created the, you know, some visualization uh, previously. So here you, 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 can, you can change uh, uh, you know, the filter, you can specify uh, anything that you know. Uh, in particular here, we're, it's about uh, uh, alerts of two days ago. So what we have to do, we, have, uh, we can do a, a discover. So we can have a look at the, at the alerts uh, today. And uh, create, for instance, a dashboard with visualization. Alerts inside NTOPNG are stored with the concept of, for instance, of uh, uh, granularity. So how often an alert is generated. 
so we have also uh, the ability to specify uh, the reason why uh, the alert is generated so for instance a threshold cross so when an alert is generated uh, is manifold can be because a certain threshold is, is uh, exceeded or because this uh, this flow has done something bad such as accessing a malware website and things like that and uh, of course, it contains uh, the timestamp uh, and uh, it contains also the, the entity name that can be a host, uh, a flow, you know, many things like that. And of course, it includes the severity. Okay, this is very important. There are some alerts that also have a subtype, so if you want to further define, but this is, it really depends on the type of alert. This uh, threshold doesn't have a subtype. And uh, this is the way, in essence, uh, alerts are, are working inside uh, uh, and top NG. So as you can see, these are the, the events that are generated and those events are delivered to, to Elastic and are delivered to all those recipients, recipients that uh, uh, are defined inside uh, uh, TopNG. I hope that I've clarified how this, uh, this world is working. Uh, the flexibility of uh, recipients and endpoint allows you to deliver alerts and events to multiple consumers. This is very important. It allows you also to characterize how the system uh, is operating and how those uh, those alerts are handled it's up to the to the final uh, consumer because as you can see with the built-in uh, sqlite uh, uh, recycling endpoint and top ng is able to store alerts internally but with remote uh, consumers it's possible for you to create a powerful dashboard in uh, in elastic for instance uh, that shows you this uh, this information or use at the same time, both this, uh, these alerts inside uh, uh, and TopNG and uh, also the alerts into Kibana and uh, Elastic. Thank you very much for listening. We hope that you will start using this uh, extension. Thank you very much for using and TopNG.